So someone went out there and <laughs> said that Zoda and her Benton are actually not having it. There's no fire anymore between them. And I'm like, okay. Because now, if you've known Zoda for quite some time, the way that she was going on, you know, having the gigs and stuff like that, she's no longer really, really doing that ever since um, we came from COVID, actually. Um, she's been slowing down, declaring, like, just going down more than going up. So, um, after that, she came shocking us that actually she is a Sangoma. After that, you know, changing... A Ben 10 to another Ben 10. It was like, okay, um, they couldn't even get like separated fully with the first Ben 10, actually, I believe, because uh, I believe they really thought that they will get married with a ben, uh, with the first Ben 10. This one, um, she doesn't really, really come forward with him the way that um, she came with the first one. And um, this whole thing of slow motion towards their relationship, actually, there is a source saying that allegedly they are having fights and they are no longer together, actually, because now it's been three years they've been together. And um, it is said that actually Zodwa Bandu is focusing on her career, that is by taking a peek, you know, uh, being in Sangoma and all. And I'm thinking to myself that actually, Zodo Abantu is overdue this whole thing of hers because now there are many people that are doing what she was doing um, before. Even so, uh, the people actually that took her part in this whole thing of entertainment, the way that she was entertaining people, are uh, these people who are coming claiming to be DJs actually. So obviously they are actually giving people what she was supposed to be giving. And her absence is actually being fulfilled. Um, I don't think people are missing her so much as they would if these um, DJ inspiring people <laughs> were not filling the position. So um, <laughs> this whole thing of uh, her being missing in the show, it, it, it has been said it's because she's focusing on being... Um, Sangoma. Now, <laughs> I really doubt that that's the fully case that um, she's actually missing in the space of entertainment the way that she is. I believe that she is tired actually because now, on, when you're speaking about her age actually and the things that she was doing, I mean, you. you you can think that this is someone who's tired actually because now she's been through it all. And then there are moments when I saw that it's like she's actually changing the people that she was working with. Um, so I don't know if that's the case that has slowed her down, but I believe that she has um, changed some of the people that she came with when she break in the industry actually. Um, I believe that she really she did um, actually got rid of some people. So now this whole thing has been said that actually her bag is getting empty and emptier. That's why this Benton is running away. Because now if you are in her age, obviously going for someone younger, you have to keep them going, you know, saying that I mean, giving them vibes, why should they stick around with you? So now, if she's not giving this young man what she used to give him, obviously, he'll run away as it is in a stage that actually um, he ran away. He's no longer around. And um, he, she's actually saying that she's pursuing this whole thing of it losing. But now, because Zodo Abadu is someone who's so playful, I don't know how true is this whole thing of her carrying on and carrying on on this whole journey of Ilozi, you know. And what is she actually doing there? Is she initiating to be a healer or just a, someone that you consult when you want um umuti, you know, stuff like that? What is her role in this whole thing? Or she's just going through it because maybe it is actually messing up her life because other people are saying that um, they will be going to initiation just um, to, to make this whole thing pass, not per se that they will be practicing um, this whole thing of Ubunyanga and stuff like that. That's why I'm asking myself that, what is she actually practicing for, you know, this whole thing? What 
what is this journey all about in her or to her? Will she be consulting people, you know, when you've got uh, problems? Will you be going to Soto Abantu to actually um, help you um, with the herbs to... to, <laughs> to to take care of your problems or if you are sick will you will you be able to go to Zorabantu for her to heal you and stuff like that or she's just actually um going through this whole thing and then after that she will be going back to her um place of entertaining people actually right now she's been juggling around between them actually you'll see her having those um vibes of uh my twice i and then she'll be on stage doing her thing you know and then the other times she's not showing up you know people are booking her she's that she doesn't show up so what is really going on here so now this young man has distanced himself from Zoro Abantu because now it's like she's actually giving the confusion. <laughs> she's someone who's actually confused in this whole thing. She's still trying to get her part. Anyway, um, I believe that if it's true that actually they've dumped each other and stuff like that, she will still go for another Benton because now I don't see Zoro Abando, um go for someone who's um, actually on her age, you know, stuff like that. Because now if we go back, she started with the old man as it is alleged that she was actually uh, dating Kanyin Bao's, um sugar daddy or husband something like that now she's actually converting going down to the young ones so <laughs> we'll be having a new sort of abandonment after this whole thing because i don't see her going solo ever because now she always needs some kind of drama in her life i just don't see her going and then going for this upeho and then just being sort of bandu who is actually there healing people or or whatever people consulted to her and without any space of drama of having a young lover in her life i just highly doubt that one it's either that one or they will come umkulu or tize coming just being in soda space okay we'll see you next time bye <laughs>